I want to show you all this video. It is about an occult member. It is his testimony and it is really good. You really are going to learn some stuff. So please take heed to what he is saying. You may have to take notes. God bless. I just first wanted to say that I, I wanted to apologize for, you know, I, I've repented on it so much. I just, I went, I flipped a 180 from what I was doing till now. And as you know, that comes with its fair share of attacks and torment, especially at the start. Um, but it's just drastically slowed down so much. And I've, I've just, you don't know how much I've been just breaking down for the Lord, for God, for Jesus Christ. I've been, I've read the New Testament at least three or four times within the last week, within the last week. And I'm just, I've been delivered. I was delivered overnight, literally from medications that I was taking for, for bad things, for, from alcohol, from smoking. I was delivered in like the snap of a finger. Like just, I, I just can't, it's just so beautiful to me how much I love God. And I just want to thank God one more time and, I want you to be blessed with God in Jesus Christ's name that you answered me even though I was so foolish and so ignorantly, you know, I, I wouldn't even call it possessed. Just so, just so under the influence of demonic forces, right? And I was, I was wrapped up, I'm going to be honest, I was wrapped up with witches, actual witches that had power. They were bragging to me at all times, always telling me I should go against go against Christianity, telling me the false things about Jesus and such. And I just flipped a 180 switch from that because, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I can't exactly put my finger on how it happened, whether it was from prayer from true Christians that I know, whether it was just me realizing how, how tortured I was in what I was doing. I was seeking power, I was seeking to do spiritually powerful things and before I even got to a higher level of it, I just, I'm, and I'm glad I didn't. I was just, I just want to, I just want to ask you if you could hopefully forgive me because I'm really sorry, Chris. You're, you're, you're a true man of God. You have a lot of spiritual power and I, I just, from God, and I just want you to be blessed, man. I just really, I'm really. Of course I forgive happy. you. Of course I'm I. so happy. I was never mad at you. Really? Not that I know of. Man, I was I was being a horrible person, man. I was I I made a fool out of myself. I made a fool out of myself, not just in your eyes, but in the eyes of God. You know? Well, no child of Jesus and the Father is a fool in the eyes of God. So yeah, if you right. if you repent, that's it. Exactly, and you know, that's what I've been feeling. I've been feeling like um, th there's this one, and I'm still skeptical about that church, but there's this one deliverance, or I shouldn't say, call it a deliverance place, but there's this one uh, ministry, uh, well, I, I mean church that I know of that I went to, and I, I very much trust the pastor. And when they started praying over me, I literally was getting possessed. I was literally like trying to push them back. I was growling. I was like shaking, shaking head to toe, shaking like, like, like a leaf. Okay. And I, I was just, I just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders after that, you know? And since then I've just been dedicated. I've been, I broke all soul ties and all ties that I've had with these, which is coincidentally, they've stopped contacting me and I've obviously stopped contacting them. You know, I've just, I'm just stunned, man. I'm just stunned by the power of God, you know? I'm just... And why were you saying that uh, deliverance needs to stop and all that stuff? Because there's people putting pressure on you to do spells against people? Or what is yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, they, they, were, they were... Basically, they were telling me the more you... They were telling me all sorts of things. I want to expose them fully. They were telling me the more you blaspheme uh, Adonai or God or Jesus or anything true, the more you get Luciferian power, satanic power. They were telling me deliverance isn't real. It's just people doing satanic. And I, I knew that was a lie. I knew that. So that kind of made me skeptical of them. They were basically kind of luring me in. You know, they had beautiful women 
They were luring me in with temptation, getting me to do all sorts of garbage. And I, I, I can't count how much stuff I've had, I've been repenting for in the last week. And I've just, I've just been, I, I was so deceived. You know, Satan is so, he's so crafty. He's not just, he's not a complete idiot, you know. He can use his people to really kind of be lured in. If they're not lured in by fear of, of judgment from other human beings, which who cares about that? They learn in he's, he lures them in if they, he has a use for them by how do I say it just by luring them in whether it's through lust or greed or power or whatever he just wants them to be suckered in and you know he he literally basically he wants his biggest lie and I know this and I know this because the I don't I don't even know I'm sweating it's probably the demons in me that are sweating talking to you right now, but I was completely calm two minutes ago, but, but, um, their biggest lie, they say the, the most important thing is secrecy and to make sure nobody knows about anything you can do. Nobody knows. They, they want you to know, they want people to know, sorry, that Lucifer doesn't exist. They want people to know that demons don't exist, which is a lie. They want everything to be shrouded. Shrouded. What does God do? God puts everything in the light. You know, you can go, I can go anywhere. I can, I can walk 10 minutes and find somewhere that sells a Bible. I can walk, I can turn on anything and find everything out about, about Jesus, about Christ, about everything that's true. But you can't, you can't, Satan doesn't want you to find him unless he has a use for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm just so happy, man. You, you can't, I've just, I've prayed for you so much and repented so much because I was just, I was, I, I'm ashamed, I was ashamed of myself, and I'm, I still feel kind of ashamed of myself, and I'm hoping, if, if, if that's God's will, for you to eventually take that video of me being so, I was, I was on stuff, I was possessed, that's not how I am, that's not how I act, I've been delivered completely of all addiction, of all those temptations of the flesh for so long, I've been fasting, I've been doing all kinds of stuff, I have been getting not demonic attacks, but I don't care. I brush them off because you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it for Almighty God. It brings glory to God that yeah. I suffer at least for what I did that was sinning and wrong. You know? Well, I and told you, know, you, if yeah. you if I told you if you gave a testimony uh, for Jesus publicly, I would take it down. I don't. Okay. I have no desire to uh, show that video. I have a desire that people get saved. No, that's that's my desire too. And I'm just I still feel I just keep feeling the Holy Spirit just just rushing through. It's like warm rain, and it's just like it, it's been telling me. Even though there's been demons telling me, you know, oh yeah, just injecting thoughts into your head. You know, you have a thought, but it's not something you're thinking. It's just a demon projecting the thought into you. And it's like I I just it's just so funny. Like, I even did deliverance on my... I was preaching to my little sister on Jesus and God today, in the Bible, for four or five hours at least. And she just... She was taking in everything I was saying. I was telling her everything about demons, about how everyone has to be delivered of them. Everyone is tempted by them. Everyone is attacked by them. And since that happened, you know, and since I gave her one of my Bibles... Yeah, one. You heard me. <laughs> one of them. And, uh... Yeah, I would love to give my test. I don't want to ramble, you know, because this uh, is a test. I, this is a testimony. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay. I like to. Uh, I like to get the the truthful one right off the bat. Yeah, this is the, this is the complete truth, you know. And uh, I have no shame. In, I have no shame in bringing God more glory any second of the day. And you know, I just want everyone out there. I want everyone out there who's young who thinks that. They're getting some into spiritual stuff. They, they're going to these... Because it all starts off in these little shops where they make you think, oh, spiritual things. Oh, it's interesting. Get into that. You know? Use some sage and use some herbs and rituals and spell and these books to protect you. from. No. They're, I want everyone to know that these witches told me themselves. There is no such thing as good spirits. Every, every single spirit on earth 
is a demon if it's not of God. If it's not the Holy Spirit, it's of the devil. Plain and simple. There's no good spirits, bad spirits. There's no spirits of the dead. They, they even openly told me I should I should trick people to going into their seance groups so that they could trick them, even Christians. They even said Christians, you know? Trick them into contacting dead relatives, which they, they even told me are familiar spirits. They're just spirits that pose as that. And what does that do? That drops God's hedge, hedge of protection on that person right there. You know what? People people need to know. People need to expose. But you can't. You can't it's good that, to believe in God. It's good to put your faith in God and Jesus Christ. But you can't do that and then turn around the next day and believe in the New Age and the, uh, and the reincarnations and all that crap. That's just a lie. And they, they, they laugh about it. They laugh about people that believe in these New Age things and the lukewarm. All right? Right. You know, the, the lukewarm are are the ones Jesus hates. Jesus even says in the, in the New Testament, he says, I would prefer someone to be, not in, in these exact words, but exactly in this conflict. This is what he says. He says, I would prefer someone to be completely for the devil or completely for me than for, for them to be lukewarm. I hate the lukewarm, you know? And he's totally right. I can't count on my hands the amount of people I know who claim they, they are of God or of Christ, and then they turn around the next day and they're sitting, they're, they're lusting, they're, they're fornicating, they're doing drugs. People, every single sin like this you do, you open yourself gateways. And what do these witches always tell me to do? Open up more gateways, you know? Go after, do as much things to sucker people in. I was able to, I was able to read people, like in the snap of a finger I could read someone. I was able to, and nothing good, nothing really actually good, but just, you know, just be able to kind of get a, get a feeling about someone, which is just kind of demons kind of being able to tell me what happened. I knew everything was demonic, but I wasn't, I wasn't fully aware of how, how bad it was getting because of the lies I was told as well. That's another thing. The devil is very good at making you believe him by mixing some of the truth with his lies. He'll put a little bit of actual truth in, but he'll still put lies and lies and lies on top to mask it, right? He wants to hoodwink people. He wants to keep them suffering. He wants to keep you stuck. God is a moving God. God wants you to move forward. God doesn't want you to stay stuck and always trapped, which so, is... Do you yeah. plan... Do you plan on going to tell the people that were telling you these lies that you gave your life to Jesus Christ? I mean, uh, I what I want to kind of build up more Holy Spirit in me, so I don't, you know, get get anything happening to me there. But yeah, I would I would totally go up to them and tell them, guys, you're completely off, and if you allow me, I want to do deliverance on you. But I've been wanting to do deliverance. I actually delivered my little sister a little bit, a little bit today, because I'm still, no, I obviously have a lot of long ways to go, Chris, you know. But with faith, me and my sister had so much faith, the Holy Spirit was full in that room. She felt so good. She was yawn, She was like in a constant yawn, like, you know, she was just, and she, she, was, she was just feeling it. And she felt, she told me when she, when I stopped, she felt like something like, Dislodge, and I was like, I felt so good. I, I just praise God that I brought glory to Him in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. Well, okay, yeah. good. It's good to see you testifying for God. I'll take yeah. that other video down, okay? Okay. Um, and I'll put it this one in its place. I appreciate it. And uh, is there anything that I should include in the testimony, like specifically, because I've never done one? No, as long as you tell the truth, that's a testimony. You told the truth already. Yeah, yeah I just, last thing I want to say to it, I just want everyone to know, don't ever, don't ever go and open up any gateways, whether it's through little sins, oh, I'm just going to do, oh, just, let me tell you, I, from just my sh short one year experience, okay, one year experience in these, this occult stuff, you do one sin after you kind of you start to accept Christ. You do one sin. These demons are going to come full-fledged seven times harder attacking. It's, it doesn't lie in the Bible when it says sevenfold. 
that thing is complete truth. So yeah, I just want everyone to, you know, be blessed and accept Christ. And I don't want any young people like me to make mistakes like this. You're not getting anything out of it. You're getting stuck and trapped. Unless you accept Jesus, then you get real power. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I want to ask you, Chris. If I know, I don't know what like what your time zone is, but here it's eleven. I, I don't know if you're too tired, but do you think you could do a, just a little tiny deliveries on me? You know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, Father, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, my brother here has confessed his sins. He's repented of them. Every demon hiding in his flesh, you have to go right now. I torture you ruthlessly. Angels, go in there and start pulling them up out of the stomach and the chest. Go out, demons, right now. Out! Right now, in Jesus' name. Out! In Jesus' name, spirits, go where you belong. Drink the wrath of God, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, out of the stomach and go to the pit. Pull them, angels, tear them. Tear them from the chest, bind that strong man, break soul ties of all his wickedness. Out! Right now. Out! Right now, in Jesus' name, spirits. Out! Right now, fire all over his body. Father, fill him with the Holy Ghost. Give him power, love, and sound mind, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Burn the roots of witchcraft out of his soul. Drink the wrath, demons, out of the mouth right now. Angels, choke them and pull them up out of his chest and his stomach. Burn them out. Burn them out. Burn them out. Out! Right now, in Jesus' name. Out! In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fire all over the house. Go to the pit where you belong. Go to the pit. Go to the pit, spirits. I torment your kingdom. Fire all over your strongholds. All over your curses. All over your roots and his soul. Although any satanic marks on his body or curses from tattoos, I burn them out right now. I burn them out right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, fill his mind and his soul and his spirit. Burn through. Burn through. Burn through in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Burn through in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Burn through in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Fill them up with the Holy Ghost and fire. Break loose those strongholds. Break loose those strongholds in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Sanctify his blood, Lord. Sanctify his blood. Build a strong hedge of protection around him. And cleanse him of all unrighteousness. Purge all those legions out of his flesh. Keep your angels around his body to burn through. To burn through. To pierce through the soul and cut the roots of Satan out. Fill him up, Lord. Fill him up, Lord, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fill him up, Lord, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We thank you, Father, for all you do for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And thank you. I thank you for every single ounce of life you've given me and my brother Chris here. I thank you for saving him from all of anything he's been through. And I, I thank you for blessing him with this powerful anointing. Oh, well, thank Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, brother. Okay. Oh, man. That was... Wow. You'll be just <laughs> fine. Just, uh, just stay on the right track, okay? I yeah, got... I, I, I hate sin. I yeah. gotta run. It's it's twelve. It's almost one in the morning. I know. I know, brother. All right. Good. Sorry. Last question. What should I do when I when I get these terror attacks at, in my dreams? In my, it's been happening only in my dreams mostly now. What, what do I do? You're just gonna have to deal with it. As you stay righteous and the demons come out, it'll get better and better. It takes time. You need okay. to, you need to refine your soul now. Okay. Now you have to take it step, whack strong in spirit day by day, turn from sins, get into prayer, and slowly the demons will just give up. They won't be able yeah. to stay. Yeah. Amen. Thank you so much, Chris. No problem. No love you, okay? Let me know if you need anything, all right? I love you too, brother. I love you so much. Thank you.